thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and most importantly, click the bell so you get notified as soon as we drop a new video. Also, if you have clicked the bell, make sure that your YouTube notifications are enabled so that you get the notification. Enjoy the video! Hello everybody, my name is Rome, if you're new to this channel, and this is the story of the shower tampon. Well, it was around 2014, about six years ago. We were just moving to LA, had been here a few months and uh, was loving it, you know what I'm saying? And we, of course, were still in the business of making sketches. And so if you've watched this channel before, you know we get women to do sketches and men, but for this particular sketch, we needed a couple of girls. And our friends came through Forest. Now, we had a new girl that was involved in a sketch that we had never really worked with before. And, you know, I won't say any names on here, but I will say that she's married to a very wealthy man right now. And every time I see her, I think about this story and I smile and I laugh. So, this particular day, we shoot the skit. Everything goes good. Um, it was funny because Mike had an incident during this skit where there was somebody who used to always be outside asking Mike for stuff. <laughs> and Mike said, man, this nigga ain't never in the house. <laughs> you know, everybody got that one person. He was just always out the house. So he, Mike just got upset when he said, man, this nigga ain't never at the house because he always <laughs> was around. So that was the first thing that was funny that day. A lot of funny things happen. So we get done shooting. Now, it's this particular girl who's girl A. And then we had two of our other friends there, a girl B and C. Um, so we're at the apartment and girl A is like, hey, you know, my stomach's feeling kind of weird. I think it may be that time of month. Uh, could one of you guys, cause a couple of you guys walk with me to the store to get some tampons. Very forward, you know, seeing that we don't really know this girl like that, but hey, you know, it's natural. You gotta do what you gotta do, blood game. You know, you know what it is. Um, so they walked to the store. In the meantime, the other girls that were there, they were like, hey, what do you guys want to do tonight? So we were like, oh, we should probably just grab a couple of drinks. Uh, one of the girls that was there, she was a chef. So she was like, she would cook something. Come on, man. You, we going to eat. You ate. No, I definitely uh, We, we going to eat. And she was good at cooking. So cool. We got to get some drinks, get the food. We play some games. It's going to be a nice little time at the apartment. So they go help her at the store. We figure out what we're going to have for the menu. It's all good vibes. You know what I'm saying? So they get back from the store. A couple hours go by. She's in the kitchen cooking. We eat. Everybody's relaxed, chill. We start drinking. Now we're sitting in a circle in the living room. And this is the first like sign that girl A was a little off for me because it's certain things that you notice when you're drunk or, or when you're high sometimes. And you just notice certain things that happen in a group setting. So we're all in a circle, like just chilling, relaxing, talking. And I'm sitting just like this. I had my feet kind of kicked up. And something, I think girl A had spilt something. And she went and grabbed some paper towels off our counter. And she came back. And when she came back, she starts, like if this is the paper towel roll, she starts, like she cranking up a lawnmower. Big booty bitches, that's where red gets. And I just, and she's ripping paper towels off. Nobody else is looking, but Emmanuel is looking at me, looking at her. Cause I'm looking at her confused cause I just see and I'm like, and I go just like this. I say, hey, hey, you don't, you, you, you don't need that much paper towel for, for that. <laughs> And she was like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now roll that back up. Because we say this all the time. It's not until you start paying for stuff that you, you notice when people are, are using it. And, you like, and they're using it wrong. You don't need that much paper towel. Rip off your little sheet, a sheet or two, and then go on. Unless you got the cheap paper towel. Then you might have to do a, you know, a little bit. And, but that was the first thing. And I was like, hey, you, you wasteful. You need to stop that. So then we're sitting in a circle again a few minutes later. I had to fart. 
and it was just a knot in my rib, and I had to fart. And it was just one of the things where I was like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm not gonna have sex with none of these girls tonight. And so I ain't really try to here to impress nobody. I'm gonna be honest with you. I ain't really here to throw no game. I'm a young 25 year old man in here with gas from, from drinking and whatever else we was eating. I was like, what am I gonna do? I could A, get up and excuse myself, go to the bathroom, or I could say, fuck it, it's my house. I chose the latter of the two. So I'm sitting there and I go, Mrah. And they, everybody look at me or a couple people look at me and I go. <laughs> <laughs> nigga farted. Like, I farted. Like, it's fine. Like, everybody cool. They giggle or whatever. Yeah, dirty boy. Yeah, I, was, I was a dirty booty little boy. I was dirty like, booty. I was like, man, I'm just going to let this fart out. Just gas it out. So, then this is when stuff starts to, you know, unfold. Everybody's starting to go to sleep or starting to you know, wind down. Girl A, who we speak of, she says, I need to go take a shower. So we're like, uh, yeah, shoot. Yeah, go take a shower. Be clean. Like, be free. Let the nips out. Free the nip, you know? Free the nip, clean the nip. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. So she goes and takes a shower. Also, in the meantime, it was like a reality show because uh, at the time, Chaz was upset at one of the other girls because he was, you know, and he was talking to the girl at the time and she was wild and she was twerking. She was doing all type of stuff. And Chaz the whole time was just like. <laughs> and I look at Chaz and he just. <laughs> was not impressed. <laughs> He was not impressed with what she was doing. And I was like, this ain't going to last long. If, Chaz ain't if, having it. If his face was a bag of chips, it would be stale. Oh, yeah. Them chips, was, them, them ruffles was not laid at all. It, it was just bad. So that was funny. That was happening. So old girl takes a shower. We all go to sleep. They wake up the next day. They leave. Cool. So in the coming months, like I'm talking about a couple weeks after... I'm just in the shower. So at the time, me, Chaz, and Tay shared a shower. And sometimes other people would go in there. If guests came, they would, use, they would use the shower. All right, cool, whatever. So we all shared that shower. Cool. So one day I'm in the shower and um, I'm looking and I was like, oh, man, it's some because we had our, all our soap set up. So everybody had different soaps. And I was like, man, whoever got this one soap, like it's been lasting a while. It's been in here for like two months at this point. So cool. So continue on a couple months more. Like so, it's about four months after we hung out with everybody. And so one day I had a friend come in town, and she stopped by and she was like, "Hey, look, I'm chilling. I've been out all day. Before I leave to head to my friends, wherever, could I hop in y'all shower?" And I was like, "All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta wash the day off. You know what I'm saying? I feel you, you don't want to walk around with day on your butt. You gotta walk, you gotta wash that off." So she goes gets in the shower. I'm in the room chilling, just me, uh, me in the room. I think Chaz was gone at the time. And she comes out the uh, bathroom and she's like laughing. And I'm like, what's going on? And so she, she gets dressed and she's like, did you know there was a tampon in your shower? And I said, huh? She said, yeah, it's a, it's a tampon in your shower. I was like, nah, we, I was like, we, we would have seen a tampon. I'm not gonna lie to you. I forgot there's a million different kinds of tampon. You know, you got the pads, you got the stuff comes out and it's the stuff floats away. I think you blow on stuff and it make a noise and then it, then it skirt off. It's like a lot of stuff, you know, ladies, I'm a man. I don't know. You know, you guys have a lot going on. Hey, I appreciate you. We love you. Love my queens. All right. So I was like, no, nah, that's not a tampon in the shower. She's like, yeah, no, no, I'm a woman. There's a tampon in your shower. I said, show me. So she goes and she shows me, and it's that fancy soap <laughs> that I thought was fancy soap because it had a little string on the end of it. <laughs> like a little blue string or something. And I was like, that's not soap. Because I here's the thing, in a shower, in a, in a community setting, you don't just touch people's soap. If you go to shower, you ain't gonna touch nobody's soap because you think you ain't gonna, that's nasty. I don't know who, who who's butt been on that soap. So I was like, I ain't, I ain't touching the soap. So, I was like, that's not like soap on a rope, like a fancy, like something that she's like, nah, my nigga, that's, that's a tampon. It's just like out and open in the pad. Like I said, oh, so I called everybody. We was like, everybody gathered to witness this tampon in the shower. 
Now we have questions. Now we going through people that's been in the house and all type of stuff. And then we said, oh, girl, A, that day that we all, and she used the shower cause she was on her situation. She might've been in there and left it and forgot. But here's my thing. You don't just leave that in nobody's house. You don't, you, don't, you don't just leave pond in the pond. You know what I'm saying? You don't just leave pond in, in the shower. Like you gotta, you gotta pick the pond up, take the pond out the shower, do something with it. You know what I'm saying? I, pond the river. You gotta pond the river. <laughs> when you got the tampon in the shower, get that shit out of there, my nigga. Come on, man. You, you was at, at, the, at the time, you at least had to be 22. You done been in some showers and pulled something out and had to do some things. Like, don't just leave that in there. Got me thinking I'm in France with some fancy soap that somebody done bought. I thought, I was like, niggas getting money because they got they got soap with, on, a, on a rope in here. I was like, they out here getting to it. They getting money in this house because I ain't got that. I had the regular old, you know, Irish spring. And they had, and then she left Irish string in there. And now we just got, it's just all types of confusion with soaps in there. So, Long story short, we never told her. So till this day, she 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 tampon shower girl. And what's funny is, you know, I done seen her on TV. We done seen her on TV a couple times, just out here handling business, living life. I seen her make a nice political tweet the other day. And I was like, well, nothing political about what you did in my shower. You need to come and be on trial for that. You need to go to court for that. But you know, it is what it is. And that's the story of the tampon in the shower, a.k.a. the fancy soap that we thought it was. Two questions. Yeah. Technically, shouldn't girl A be girl B because he bled all in your shower? Absolutely. Two. Mm-hmm. So, how was y'all cleaning y'all shower when y'all, it took that long to notice this? Here's what it was. When we clean the shower, I always, I don't disrespect people's soap because it looked like one of them soaps that, I was like, I don't want to just be moving this. I didn't want to touch it because it was out of a thing. So I was like, I don't know who. So I was like, I'll just clean right on the edge around it. And I never really looked at it. You know what I'm saying? So I cleaned around it. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't touching it. You know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't my, my show, my bathroom. So. Well, I, I lied. I got one more. Okay. Last question. Yeah. You finally did take it out of the shower with yeah. blood on it? Like stained blood? I don't think. I don't think. I think it probably had washed down the drain. It, or some, or it, maybe it was washed off before. I ain't seen no blood on it, but I put it on the gloves, and I went to work. I don't, I'm not. I ain't. I ain't run the red light on that. You know. So I know a lot of guys like to run the red light, and that's fine. But you got to be my girl for a while for me to run the red light. I like red, but I don't like red if it ain't. Yeah, on, you run on. the red light, you bound to crash. Yeah, you run the red light, you bound to crash. And she crashed into our lives, and she's been there ever since now. Yeah, she ain't been over here a while. I don't trust that in my shadow no more. I think she out of my life at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She probably don't remember. No, she remember yeah, us. She, she remember us because, but, but yeah. She didn't remember to take she that. She didn't remember to take that, that, that tampon out of the shower. So, uh, all right. All right, guys. Peace. Let me go take a shower. All right. What comes in the box once you get it? all your retainers. I got 15 of them, so it's gonna take me 15 weeks to straighten my teeth. And I only got the top teeth because I need a bottom tooth extracted, but what's cool about Bite, they work with me, so they'll still help me with my top teeth until I get my bottom teeth situated. So I got 15 retainers all in this box. Also, got some accessories. I got, what you put your retainers in, carry around when you take them out to eat or if you out or whatnot at a restaurant you're on a date put it in there and i got some whitening foam to use whiten my teeth also we got the hyper bite which is really cool which um cuts your time in half if you use it every day i think it's just for five minutes a day it'll cut your treatment time in half there is the only technology that um, Bite has, the technology only Bite has, which is really cool. It separates them from all the other competition. So I'm excited to use that. And yeah, so today is the day 
I'm going to open this one. See what it looks like. Boom. But I still get the bottom with it. But it's probably just going to keep it in place where it's at, which is cool. But this is the my first my first trade for the first week of straightening my top tee. So comes with instructions. The way comes with a little sticker that says the wait is over. It's time to bite. I know you can't see it, but just focus. I don't know. This is cool. Just pop it in. And it fits. It fits perfectly, actually. Yep. And it's comfortable, too. But I gotta take it out before I eat or drink anything that's not water. So that's cool. Well, let me put this in the tray, so... If y'all want to start on this journey, just use my code, BITEDT. So this is my wild middle school weekend filled with joyriding, partying, and cops. Jeez.